So this week's UTOGS banner competition on our Facebook group is around the theme macro. One of my favourite vlogs that I ever did was my macro fruit and veg vlog. I'll link it up there. And it's one that I've wanted to return to. Uh, so hopefully some point in the near future I'll do that. It, it was really enjoyable hour or so just capturing macro images that I hadn't really done before. But I wanted to do... I've, I've, I've entered my picture into the Facebook group banner. If you're not a member of the UTOGS Facebook page, just type UTOGS into Facebook and please come and join us. It's open for everyone, all photography abilities, even if you've never picked up a camera before, you might you might learn something. If you're a professional, come and educate others. Just enjoy the chat and the, the banter, for want of a better word. So, but I want this video is all about, I wanted to sort of look at some of the entries there's been 57 entries so far i've put one entry in but i have just been out with the camera and taken three more macro images so i'm going to edit them i'm going to show you them in a minute and then i'll edit them and then we'll have a look at some of the entries in this week's utogs facebook group banner competition okay so i've just quickly edited my three shots i haven't done that much to them to be honest i've boosted the contrast on this one particularly and i've cropped another one down to 16 by 9 and converted that one into and I've converted the third one into black and white as well, so I've got the option there. But I'm really quite happy with these, considering how, as I say, little effort it took. Straight into the back garden, we've got some strawberries growing, and this is one that's not completely finished yet. It's sort of mid-grow, but it's it's quite a nice shape. The colours are really nice. Quite enjoy that one. And then we've got some ornamental fairy figures dancing around the garden that were here when we moved in. And I thought... With this one, it doesn't really matter that it's not, f like the focus isn't fully on the nose or on the eye particularly. It's there, but you can tell what you can tell what it is. And I thought, you know, what I like I'm like with um, putting inspirational quotes and stuff down one side. I like having some negative space to be able to do stuff with. So I quite like this one, and I've also converted it into black and white, which again I think it works well. And then the last one, it's. Uh, it's some wood it's like some cracks in some wood and this is one that i cropped down to 16 by 9 i think it works well i think it it couldn't be wood it could be something completely different i've boosted the contrast on this slightly and it is color it's not black and white even though it does look like it could be black and white but as i say i'm, I'm happy with these so i'm gonna enter these into the competition now and then we'll have a quick look at some of the others as well open the 57 comments so we've got abdul to start with and this stingless bee i think this is an exceptional capture really really good cracking abdul and there's like a one of them's losing the wing i didn't notice that before one of them's lost the wing which is quite extraordinary really nice capture that might be a contender for this week as, it, as it's already on eight likes uh, let's scroll through. David Griffiths says it's perhaps not strictly macro, but it's the closest one he has to hand. Again, a beautiful capture. Beautiful capture. Stephen Corbett with some insects, although this one is the standout here. In exceptional. The detail on the eye. Fantastic. I'm not sure what lens he's used. I'm not sure what setup he's got here, but it's phenomenal. What a, what a capture. Incredible. Let's keep scrolling through. Stuart Allison. It's a dragonfly. Again, the the beautiful detail. The thing that I like with macro on insects, it's the detail you can get on the eye, and it's also the detail that you can get on the wings. That sort of the structure of the wing, I think it's phenomenal to be able to capture that. So I really like that one. Blowing in the wind from James Eagles. Beautiful dandelion clock, or what was a dandelion clock? More insects, Stuart Allison. More insects there. 
Alan done it with a B. Let's open that one up. A B on a nice yellow plant. Stefan Grip inside ice inside of a tiny droplet. I've got a feeling this one will look really nice, and it does. I'll pop this one up on the screen. It looks phenomenal. The detail within that ice in the droplet, exceptional. Cracking captures it, Stefan. And he's got another one here with a spider, but I'm not. Amazing detail, but I'm not a big spider fan, so let's click away from that. Robert Pearson. This one's called Cracking. Oh no, Alan Coles has said Cracking, excuse the pun. But it's a snowflake, which again, you could never have the same snowflake picture because every snowflake is like a fingerprint and they're all different. So that's pretty awesome. And Robert's done another one with a insect on some flowers. There's a lot of insects this week. Stefan. I said there'll be no one snowflake image the same, but here's a snowflake. Again, exceptional. Reminds me of Frozen, the kids' classic Frozen. Uh, another one from Stefan. There's a lot this week. I think that is raindrops on a dandelion clock. Brilliant. Mike Hutchinson has entered it, but he can't find it. Will Hutchinson, man after my own heart, bit of Lego. He says, I work as a forensic fire investigator, so this is me. It's pretty cool. Nice little Lego scene there. Hopefully, going through these, the sort of idea behind this video was to not only show you what people in this group are capable of and the talents that you can come and look at, but also, this. so far, the competition went up on Wednesday, and it's Monday now when I'm recording this. And there's 57 images, and that's 57 macro ideas. I know some of them are the same, but 57 types of inspiration that could get you out taking macro images. So that was kind of the idea for this video. Right, let's not crack around too much. Let's just pick out some more favourites. Maria Thornleycroft, beautiful attempt at macro, trying to capture those eyes, beautiful. Nick Smith, who does Macro Mondays, oil and water. This is something I've wanted to do for a while, but I've never got around to it. And I think it's, I think it looks really good. It looks otherworldly. It looks, it looks like it's not real, really, but it is, and it's phenomenal what you can see when you look that little bit closer with a macro lens. We've got ladybirds. Paul says, "Is close up close enough?" I think he can have that. Nice reflection. That's mine. That's my original one. That, I, that was the first macro image I ever took. And it's broccoli with a water drop on. And the focus is within that water drop on a, on a bit of the broccoli. That's kind of what got me into macro. Graham Cave, Mr. Cave. A praying mantis. Perfectly captured. Perfectly posed praying mantis. Amazing. That could be a contender this week as well. We've got more insects from Alan and Helen. More from Nick, Karen. This one I particularly like, Jack, Ty Jack Tyler, Jack Taylor, Tyler, Jack Tyler. It looks like either wood sharpenings or pencil crane sharpenings. The beautiful, the bold colours, it works on the white background and it works, it sort of disappears and, and the blur continues and the, the colour carries on. But where you focus, there's so many bold colours. I think this is a fantastic shot, so much so I'm going to click love on it. What else have we got? More flowers, more spiders. I'm not going to click on that. An orange tip, butterfly and dew from Brian. That's phenomenal, the detail on that. And also, not just the detail on the... I imagine that's the butterfly. But within the water drops, you can see sort of another image of the background. It's phenomenal. Go and have a look at this one by Brian T. Hurst. I'm going to click like on that one as well. And while I'm at it... I'm going to go back and click on that Praying Mantis one, wherever it was, from Mr. Cave, because that was phenomenal as well. There's so many good entries this week, and I think the group's grown enough, so there is so much talent being seen week in, week out. Karen, beautiful water drops on flowers. Let's click like on that one. I'm being a bit... Slap happy with my <laughs> likes this week. This is a completely different one from Frederick. A fly on a bolt. 
I don't know where the, where it is. It could be by the sea somewhere. It's got a bit of sun sunset in the background, but it's it's completely different to everything else that's been entered this week. More spiders, more flowers. Tom Duncan with a dead bee or wasp. Right, let's enter one of mine. Let's go into here and let's bob the strawberries in. While this does this, again, I encourage you to come and join the group. We do regular meetups as well. And there's three admins running the group. There's me, there's Tim Day, and recently we asked David Griffiths if he'd join the admin team because we needed that little bit of extra support, and he's a great guy as well. So hopefully you can come and join us. Whilst I put these other ones in, I'll pop some more images on the screen. Thanks ever so much for watching. I'll put the link to this group in the description below. Please come and join us.